Uh, yeah, I did one. I did one. What did you do? Um, Larry something. It's a film. Larry Casey, no, 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 no. Larry. Film critic. I don't remember oh. his name. Yeah. All right, so uh, you have a white balance. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. I grabbed your right. pants real fast. <laughs> okay, now I have to. Okay, ten thirty. I have to have both of you out of here in twenty minutes. Good. <laughs> First of all, Catalina, I want to congratulate you on a wonderful performance. Thank you. Uh, it's just an outstanding job, and you haven't been in the business that long, but if you'd been in the business 15 years, it would still be <laughs> a spectacular performance. So, uh, and I enjoyed the film very, very oh, much. Oh, good. Thank you. What was your life like before you made this film? I was studying advertising in college. I was studying theater too, but I never thought I was going to be an actress. I thought I was going to be graduating from advertising, and I was going to work in a big, you know, in a big agency as a marketing head or something. It was my like my dream when I was studying college, but I never thought that I was going to be an actress. So how did you get into this movie? <laughs> it was it was very funny because somebody called my house one day and talked to my mother, telling him, telling her about the casting. And she was the one that pushed me to go. I didn't want to go because in that moment I was taking a lot of subjects in, um, in college and I didn't have time to go to an audition. And when she told me that an American was making a Colombian film, I'm like, that's pretty weird. I'm going to see who this American is and I'm going to just check him out. And thank God I went. And, uh, since then, I've been working with Josh, and I've been traveling all around, and it's been crazy. Have you made another movie since you made this one? Oh, no. I haven't had time to do, like, anything else. I've studied in New York, uh, in Lee Strasberg. I studied for nine months. But after that, Maria went to Sundance, and then to Berlin, and then to Cartagena, and then to, you know, we've been traveling all year long. So I don't have time to do anything else. I think my mind has to be in one place all the time. I don't want to divide my mind in a lot of things. If I do another movie, my whole energy is not going to be with that. It has to be shared with another thing. So I don't want to do it. I want just to end Maria's promotion and then, you know, shift to another thing. I think the hardest part of the movie for me to sit through was watching you and the other girls swallow the pellets. <laughs> now tell me how you did that scene. It was pretty scary because I did swallow pellets. It was not heroin. It was not latex. It was um, some flour made pellet. Uh, it was digestible. But it was the same size and the same shape. and. Uh, it was still hard for me because it was my, the first time that I see how pellet was made. I've never known anything about mules, like very specific. <clears throat> when you live in Colombia, you know about mules and you know there are, but, and you judge them. And you're like, oh, that's good that they're in jail. They're bad people. They're just greedy. They need money. And then I was trying to be a mule. And then I found myself with the, you know, with the extreme situation that this girl had to do, and that the option that they offered her, and the money, and the way out of that little town. So, you know, I learned a lot from that. I learned that you don't have to judge people. And the first time that I really see how a pellet was made that was in the scene. So for me to swallow the pellet, it was so frightening. It was scared. I was, I was thinking I was going to choke, personally. And you know, watching the camera and knowing that there's 20 people looking at me and like looking at the watches and like, I hope she just swallowed the pellet and we'll move on. But for me, it was very, very scary. And for Maria, of course, is to have the pellet in, in her hand and think that hopefully the guy wrap it good, the pellet, because if I swallow this one pellet, I might die. So it was very hard. And the expressions in my face, I think it would, it was so real because I was feeling scared. It was fear. How do you do it, though? I mean, do you uh, drink something first, or? Uh, well, 
in the movie, Maria was sprayed with some um, anesthetic. Anesthetic? Anesthetic. Anesthetic in the, in the throat for the pellet not to hurt so much when it's going down. Uh, the pellet that I swallowed was not so hard, even though it was the same shape. And you just have to let your throat open. That's it. You just have to relax and let your throat open. But after the first or second pellet, your throat is still like, I don't want anything wrong happening. Because, you know, you eat a rice, and if it goes to the other side, you just choke there. And it's a little rice. How about a pellet? And it was scary. I was, I was, I don't know, I was thinking, I'm going to choke here, I'm going to die. It was horrible. And it's pretty scary that people swallow up to 120. I just swallowed like eight through the whole movie, and it got me a stomachache, but that's it. But people, 120 pellets, it's just too scary. Okay, hang on just a second. At the Berlin Festival, <laughs> you shared the Best Actress Award with Charlie Theron. Were you Ooh. there? Yes, I got goosebumps. It's, it's amazing. She was not there. She was preparing for the Oscars. And it was amazing because I was packing my bags a day before the ceremony because we went to Berlin knowing that we're not going to win anything. We're just a small movie. And we're so thankful that the people here invited us. But we never thought that we were going to win anything. So I was packing my bag to go back to New York. And Josh came to my room. And he told me that, you know, we have to stay one more day. And that was good news. But he didn't tell me, he didn't tell me why. And uh, I just sat down. I was so excited. And he was like, but you know what we want? I'm like, I imagine, like, I don't know, something for the film. I'm like, we, we want best for film and best actress award. And I'm like. I cried, I sat down and stand up, and I keep crying, and I'm like, I have to call my mother. It was just unbelievable. It was so unbelievable that I won an, something, because I've never won anything in my life. And like for, this, for my first project, sharing a, an award with Sholis Theron, it was just, woof, incredible, incredible. Well, again, I will say <clears throat> very well deserved. And I thank you for coming to Dallas. Oh, thank you so it's much. It's been a great pleasure meeting you and to tell you in person how much I enjoyed you. Oh, thank you so much. Catalina, what was your life like before the movie? Um, I was studying advertising in college. What is your life like now that the movie has come out and won awards and all? I am living in a... I'm sorry. One more time. Oh, should I apologize? Oh, okay. What is your life since the movie came out? But, but no, but I'm good. What is your life like now that the movie has come out and you're winning awards and all? I'm living in New York, and everything's fine. Um, it's good. Um, Did you actually have to swallow a pellet? I did actually, more than one. Okay. How did you prepare to swallow the pellets? I did not prepare to swallow pellets. I just, you know, it was real. What did you go through in filming the scene where you swallowed the pellets? Uh, it was very hard. It was scary. It was fear. Um, okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, that's it. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Fun. <laughs> like, like